Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Today we will have a session on commonly asked Salesforce LWC means Lightning Web Component interview questions, and we will try to understand logically those answers as well. So don't skip this video. Please uh, go through one by one. I will try to logically answer all of those things so that even though you will not get the exact question in your interview still logically if you understand it you can answer most of the LWC question if they are asked in your interview if you can see in my screen total I have nine question I arranged it so that those are the commonly asked question I found from my friends, from my colleagues. So if you understand those nine questions, I am sure uh, you would be able to answer most of the LWC related questions. First question, how Aura or LWC framework is different than Visual Force? If you are an experienced developer, you have more than 5 years of experience, then at that time probability is you may have a Visual Force experience as well as Aura or LWC experience. So in that case, interviewer might ask you that how you will differentiate between Aura or LWC with Visual Force. To answer this question, first thing Visual Force is a server centric architecture. That means all those things you are requesting, your HTML rendering and all those things are generating from the server side and getting transferred to the client side. And it is a monolithic page centric approach, we can say. But in case of Aura or LWC, these are client-centric JavaScript framework. When we say client-centric JavaScript framework means most of the business logic where probably uh, you may not need the data transfer between the server and the client. You just need some kind of calculation, some kind of uh, visibility changes, all those things. You can do those things using the javascript on the client side itself you don't need to do a server callback also aura as well as lwc they do support some kind of frameworks which support caching aura caching um, if caching will equal to true or something like that then most of the things used to cache and that also you know reduce your round trip to the server so in one line if i'll say the difference between Aura LWC and Visual Force is Aura LWC is client centric JavaScript framework, whereas Visual Force is a server centric Apex framework. Now, coming back to the second question How an Aura and LWC component communicate with each other? For example, the interviewer is asking. There is a Aura component on the left hand side, there is a LWC component on the right hand side, but they are sitting on the same page. Is there any possibility they can communicate with each other? If you think PopSub, no, that is not right. PopSub is a publisher subscriber model, but that is limited to LWC component only. But in this case, we are talking about Aura and LWC. These are two different frameworks. In that case, the only possibility is through Lightning Message Service. Lightning Message Service, not only you can communicate between Aura and LWC, you can also communicate with Visual Force. Now, I hope you understand how the, if the UI technology is different and you wanted to communicate with each other like Aura and LWC, Lightning Message Service is the only option. Now let's discuss about the third question. If you have a record ID available with you and you wanted to get the record detail, 
without writing any apex logic that means you are not writing any apex class nothing what you have the record id provided assume that you have the record id given and you wanted to get the record details is there any possibilities most of the time we used to say no no oh, we have to write apex class query the record and then get it it is correct that is the second option but here the condition provided is without writing apex that's why lightning data service is the only option for you through which you can get the record if you have the record id provided without writing any apex you don't have to write any apex logic for this and that lightning data service you can wad with an wad adapter or the wad decorator and in that case you don't have to write any apex logic okay now let's come back to the fourth question how is the lwc javascript framework different than ora javascript what we are discussing here how the javascript framework is different than ora javascript framework people used to say both are javascript then how is the difference the first difference is ecmascript ora use ecmascript 5 or below whereas your lwc use ecmascript 6 or above how is the difference between ecmascript 5 and 6 how the difference between ora and lwc because in ecmascript 6 which is used in lwc framework that is whatever the logic you are writing in your apex code are inside a class when i am saying it is inside a class then the object oriented nature of the ops programming language is coming into picture that means all those object oriented features like encapsulation inheritance polymorphism all those things will be available in lwc framework which may not be available in your ora framework because ora uses write simple javascript function not required to write it inside a class okay coming back to the fifth question this question probably you may hit in every interview what is a service component when you say service component as the name suggest it serve other components that means it don't or you can say the component which don't have its own ui and it just imported into other component are called service component that means service component is not a very different kind of component it is the same lwc component but it has only the javascript file probably it may not have the html file and the css file because it don't have a ui service component is just the logic you can import into other component for example your pop shop library provided by salesforce is also a service component i believe you understand this now moving to the sixth question how can an lwc component communicate with ora component this already we have discussed in the second one here again we are discussing so the thing is repeating uh, maybe this question is a repeated question if lwc wanted to communicate with ora the probability is lightning message service but if we change it little bit a lwc component wanted to communicate with another lwc component which is independently sitting there is no parent child relationship on that case you may probably use pop shop but lwc and ora cannot communicate with pop shop they have to communicate with lightning message service okay seventh question what is the use of track decorator in lwc we have three decorators in lwc api which is probably used as a global variable so that you can take input from other components another is track which is kind of a reactive nature 
it added the reactive nature to a properties another is wire adapter or wire decorator okay here in this question we are asking what is the use of track decorator initially track used to be available for both primitive and complex data type but nowadays in the latest version of salesforce lwc track automatically added to primitive data types like string integer decimal all those things but complex data type like array or a javascript object on that case you have to explicitly define at the red track otherwise it will not work eighth question how are connected callback and rendered callback different than each other connected callback is also a life cycle method rendered callback is also a life cycle method of lwc but the difference is connected callback used to call only once during the lifetime of the component whereas rendered callback used to call again and again as many time the component used to get re-rendered because of some events okay that means connected callback only once one time execution render callback many times the last ninth question what is the disadvantages of imperative apex you can write apex code and call it from a lwc component then where is the disadvantages yes there is a disadvantage because you are calling the apex as and when you are you are needed or you require it maybe with through your apex code you are updating a record behind the scene and you want that same record update need to be reflect in your ui it will not work because you have updated it which lwc component don't know for that reason there are alternatives like refresh apex and other programmatic way you can do but the most disadvantage what i can say is it may not auto refresh if you have done a dml operation behind the scene and also imperative apex needed additional apex logic to write means if you are writing additional apex logic you have to maintain it you have to write the test class for it all those things are becoming disadvantages today considering the session times and all so we only consider nine question over here maybe in some other session i would try to cover it any other question i can cover i hope this session will help you in your next interview whenever you will you will have lwc related ask lwc related question you may answer it if it is helpful for you write a comment like it if you don't uh think this is helpful for you do a dislike as well if you think it is helpful for others share it and if you wanted to appreciate for this session please subscribe to this channel thanks for watching this video have a great day